Hey everyone, quick question before we start. What do you think the answer is to this expression? 8 minus 5 times 8 minus 5. Sounds easy, right? Most people say it's 9, but actually, that's not correct. And by the end of this short video, you'll see exactly why. All right, let's dive in and break it down step by step. At first glance, this looks simple. You might say 8 minus 5 equals 3, and then again, 8 minus 5 equals 3. So 3 times 3 gives 9. But that's not the right answer. Here's the problem, we didn't follow the order of operations. In math, we use a rule called PEMDAS to decide which part of an expression we solve first. Let's quickly review that. P stands for parentheses. E stands for exponents. M and D stand for multiplication and division. A and S stand for addition and subtraction. So the correct order is parentheses first, then exponents, then multiplication or division from left to right, and finally addition or subtraction from left to right. Now, let's apply that to our problem. We have 8 minus 5 times 8 minus 5. Step 1, handle the parentheses. Inside the parentheses, 8 minus 5 equals 3. That turns our expression into 8 minus 5 times 3. Next, multiplication comes before subtraction. So we do 5 times 3, which equals 15. Now we have 8 minus 15. And when we subtract 15 from 8, we get negative 7. So the correct answer to this expression is negative 7. Let's think about that for a moment. The first answer we got 9 felt right, but it came from skipping the rules. The real answer, negative 7, only makes sense when we follow PEMDAS properly. So always remember, parentheses, exponents, multiplication, division, addition, and subtraction. That's the secret order that keeps math problems from tricking you. And that's it. Our final answer is negative 7. Thanks for watching. If this helped clear up a common math mistake, make sure to hit like and subscribe for more quick and simple lessons just like this one.